Yo, what's up with it? Today is Youth Radio's annual Brains and Beaker Science event. We have two very important people in the building. The research director for the Center of Environmental Health, Carolyn Cox. And then we have her assistant, Matt Nevins. Can we get a round of applause for that, please? We've been looking for lead in surprising places, places where you would never expect to find it. Lead is a very toxic metal. Lead changes the way that a child's brain develops. So if you're exposed to lead either while you're still inside your mom or when you're a young child, your brain won't develop the way it's supposed to. Interestingly, you're actually more likely to end up getting arrested and going to jail if your lead levels are high. Our title is the Center for Environmental Health which has a lot to do with public health and the public right to being healthy. How, how are we supposed to know when we go shopping how healthy something is? As far as jewelry goes or shoes go, there might not be anything to warn us of what's in it. This machine is amazing because in about 30 seconds, um, it can tell you how much lead is in just about anything. Does somebody want to bring something up to test? All right. Oh, my phone case and, and one of the rings that I like to wear. Phone case first. Mm, let's see. So I'm really glad she brought in that phone case because that's something that you would touch, you know, many times a day. We will be glad to know that it's just fine. It doesn't have any lead in it. Pass, that's good. We have another one, Jonathan. I have a lunch bag that my little sister gave me. I have a small earring. Yeah, it's my favorite earring, so I want to see if it's safe. It's a hand-painted bulb. It's a watch, basically. Sure. Well, I personally brung something. Unfortunately, she says I can't eat my cereal out of this bowl because it has lead. I'll find another. Lead free, so I can eat my lunch in peace now. They're both lead free. Lead free. <laughs> So my first question for you all, does anybody know like a really common place to find lead? Is it in number two pencils? So many, many years ago, um, pencils actually had lead, real lead, it lead the metal in them. That hasn't been the case for a long time. Is it in old school home? old school homes, like homes that you know, right. were so, built a long time ago? Um, until about 30 years ago or so, a really common use of lead was in um, paint, regular like house paint, both um, inside of the house and outside of the house. So if you live in a house that was built before 1978, it's not at all surprising to find lead paint. Um, that's a really serious problem. Um, it's probably the, w the primary reason why kids get exposed to lead is because they live in houses with old peeling lead paint. You mentioned that um, there's a lot of lead in brightly colored accessories and I've noticed that clothes and everybody's style is going back to the era of brightly colored accessories so we're starting to wear the glasses with the bright frames and the bright belts and the bright shoes so can we expect a spike in lead findings? Uh, at the Center for Environmental Health we um, have actually been doing legal action with the companies that make and distribute and stores that sell um, these brightly colored fashion accessories. And we're really happy that so far, 160 companies have signed legal agreements with us saying um, 
you know, they're going to get the lead out of their products. When you get affected by uh, lead, are there like cures or antibiotics? Um, unfortunately, the changes <clears throat> like to your brain, if you're a child who's been exposed, um, you're going to live with those for the rest of your life. We highly appreciate, you know, you coming by showing us your scientific swag, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate the knowledge, you know. Now I pay more attention to the things I buy and make sure I don't get the stuff that has lead. So on behalf of you, Freddie, I'm going to give you a round of applause, you know. <laughs> Thank you very much. And that's a wrap. Thanks for having us. Thank it's you. It's been great. Thank you.